Hello, this is the Market Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is November 13th, 2019, and what a great day, uh, Miss Vegas. We have a few tickers we want to talk about for tonight, and well, what were they? Okay, so we're going to definitely talk about Disney. What a wonderful world of Disney. We're going to talk about Roku, and we're going to talk about Walmart. So I'm just trying to keep it to the top three today. Um, so let definitely let's talk about that Disney. I mean, uh, definitely we did already swing trade Disney from yesterday. Part of the reason we looked at swing trading Disney from yesterday as well um, is because we did see some money flowing into the option land and into the stock. However, uh, people that you know, there's some people that don't like to swing trade. They only want to day trade and then close out. Uh, we did call the option calls today. Jim can show you. Um, there was news that Disney Plus um, had surpassed 10 million signups since their launch, and they made that announcement earlier today. Um, they, uh, you know, in comparison, Disney owned Hulu claimed more than 28 million subscribers back in May, and Netflix had 60 million paid customers, um, you know, back in 2019 and over 97 million internationally in their third quarter but like disney day one 10 million so i mean that was just phenomenal the market loved it um the stock was up you know it do you believe this it added 13 million dollars to its market cap which now is at 268 billion dollars i mean that is just crazy disney plus is only 6.99 a month or 69.99 a year which is obviously way cheaper than netflix Netflix charges twelve ninety nine, but you know what? Um, I do want to say I think that even people that use Netflix are going to also try Disney, and they're also giving a free trial for seven days. By the way, for Disney, so you can actually try it for a week, and then see if you like it. Um, so I think that's fantastic. If you're a Verizon customer, they're letting you try Disney for a year included without uh, paying. So that's fantastic. So what a beautiful trade, um, definitely made some serious money on the options. You know, we really love to help small accounts. We had the 141 calls yesterday at $41 each, uh, even called the 140s today. I mean, these contracts went through the roof. I even called once for the 150 calls. Um, those were only 20 cents and believe it or not, they went as high as $233 for one contract. And, you know, the ones going back to the ones at 140, 141, those contracts went as high as $900, 905 each. I mean, that is just insane money. Uh, people did very well. And congratulations to all the Disney traders. And, Jim, I'd love to hear about Disney and what you think's happening. I mean, I am excited to report right now, right now, we broke the 150. We're at 150.49. Oh, yeah. Well, we're definitely created a year high today at 150.50, mm -hmm. and we closed at 148.72, and it looks to me like after hours, we were at 150.50.36. So that, that's, that looks pretty good. Let's take this up to a 20-day. Looks like I'm going to clean up this chart here after today because I've been kind of, this has been one of our number one stocks to watch. But we did have to have a resistance. We had to break, and that was at 149.69. And we did that after hours. Once we hit it, we just went ahead and broke it. And she had a 150. So that's the new new resistance. We're going to take this in 50 cent intervals from here on out, mm -hmm. because we broke the yearly high and the all time high. And I think this can go higher along with everything else. I mean, I'm still bullish on the market, but you know, there's big difference between the private sector and Wal uh, Wall Street. So low support's going to be right down here, right around 148.69. That's going to be your second. Your first one's at 149.69. And if that 148.69 does not hold, it's kind of hard to tell, but I would say this right down here, this 146.46 area. So, yeah, because this had one heck of a run today, all the way down here from this 137.27 to 150. I mean, come on, that's a, it's a, 
I like. So, yeah. Low support, no lower than 146.46. That second one, 148.69. That first one, 149.69. And then the 150.50 was the resistance that we got to break. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Roku. Yeah, so, you know, Roku, I mean, again, this is just another, this is an actual, you know, really a day uh, swing trade, actually, not necessarily a day trade. You know, Roku has had um, an acquisition. You know, they had a $150 million acquisition of a company called the Data XU or Data XU. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but never the, you guys know what I mean. Um, so they paid $150 million for this acquisition. This is a demand side platform. It basically helps advertisers to plan and buy video ad campaigns. Okay. So definitely this is an important move for Roku. Um, they're definitely looking to, um, you know, increase the revenue and also grow the platform. So I think this is great. Uh, what Roku is doing. I think the ad business is going to do very well for them. And this is going to be their TV ad dollars. And I think right now we really haven't seen this kind of revenue move over to their streaming just yet, but I think it's still a very big opportunity. And that was one of the comments that was stated by the founder and CEO, Anthony Wood in the Q3 earnings call. So this could be a major tailwind for Roku. And definitely one to watch. Really loving the action on the stock today. I mean, Roku did extremely well. I mean, you can look at the open, 133.06. And that was the low. And then look at this, Roku at 142.83 right now, after hours. I mean, talk about amazing. Roku, that kind of a move today is just amazing. So we are definitely in the Roku calls as well. And saw a lot of activity in the ones for the 145. So, Jim, let's hear about this Roku chart. Well, this is very interesting, that's for sure, on the 20-day. I mean, for some reason, we had real hard sell-off. That was uh, last week. We went all the way almost to 116.26 mm -hmm. and hovered around this. And I've been fighting with this one with the Bears for a very long time on the stock. Oh, and, yes. And everybody... I mean, we played the pullback just perfect. We played the run-up perfect. It's kind of been off my little radar, but it shouldn't be because it's one that you could trade every day, especially after this huge pullback you had right here. And, you know, it did take off the next day, but then it pulled right back, so you kind of made person wonder. We did have lower lows. We did think that it would go ahead and pull back another day or two, but uh, it didn't work out that way. It went ahead and ran up and then kind of pulled back and then the next two or three days it's ran all the way from that 120 all the way to the close today at 142.37 so we're going to try to find this little support area here and i think it's going to be no lower than this 139.09 area because of this right here you see this high on this 20 day and you know i'm looking at a yearly too but We'll go off the 20 day here at the 139.09 area. No lower than that. And I say we probably hit the first resistance at 142.26. So let's pull up the 20 day. Have a real fast look at the 20 day, real fast. There's another little support area. We can call it right in here. Then we're going to have another one right in here. So this is how we're going to kind of, oh yeah, we don't want to leave this out. Right there. Oh, I'm going to say right there. So these are going to be your three little supports. I'd say that first one's going to be right here at 141.35. And then you've got that one that I mentioned, that hard one here at 139.09. Hate to see it going lower than that. If it does, it might catch it to 137.73, but still that's a pretty steep little dip right there. It could probably stop there right around 135, 135.90, somewhere in that area. And these are the three resistances. 
But right now we hit the first one, and that's at 142.86. Then we've got a couple more right after that, 144.48 and 146.96. And that's Roku. And the next one we're going to talk about is one that everybody knows of, and that's Walmart. Yeah, so I just want to talk about this one, Jim, because, yep. you know, Walmart, I mean, um, they have earnings uh, going on tomorrow morning. Yep. And, um, you know, Walmart, you know, the last time they had earnings, um, they did talk about how they were doing very well with the people ordering online and then coming to the store curbside, picking up their groceries or whatever else they're ordering. So um, I think that's great. I think, you know, Walmart also is looking to obviously have a delivery with the groceries inside your home, uh, which is an article I show you there. Um, so that's quite interesting. And, uh, I think, you know, they're unlocking a bit of a market. I mean, you know, um, this enables you as, uh, to, I guess the delivery person to enter safely and leave the home without needing to be left a set of keys. Um, so I think that's great. It's not just for Walmart. I mean, think about this, like some, some people have, you know, a dog walker, you might even have, um, you know, someone coming to your home to uh, pick up your kids and to know that uh, you could have this lock is great. So this is going to be a new pro product, but Walmart has the um, earnings tomorrow morning. So I think this will be very interesting uh, to see how they're going to use this level lock platform with a partnership with Walmart. Um, where basically, like I said, you don't need a key. They basically go in and, and do your home delivery. They will uh, deliver right to your door and they'll actually put it in your fridge or they will even put it in your garage refrigerator. Some people have a refrigerator in the garage and the delivery person um, will drop it off. Now also for safety purposes, the delivery person will apparently be wearing cameras. So the customer can watch the delivery process live from your phone if you wish to watch and witness the delivery person going to your home delivering that your your uh, groceries so this is very interesting this home delivery is offered in three markets kansas city pittsburgh vero beach florida and if you decide to get this obviously they are charging a fee of 19.95 a month uh, so that's interesting so i'm quite uh looking forward to the walmart pre-market earnings tomorrow and uh, did take an option call and we'll see how that works out and i'm looking forward to it i hope i'm not going to be disappointed with walmart uh, but i guess you know what remains to be seen and i want to hear about their guidance and what's cooking at walmart because that's obviously not just uh groceries they got a lot going on there so remains to be seen and the walmart calls we have in play are the 125s paid those uh 66 cents and earnings tomorrow morning pre-market. Jim, your thoughts on Walmart? Well, I think your earnings are going to be good. Walmart's huge, especially this time of the year. And, and uh, But right now, we've had an all-time high here at 121.40, and I do believe that this stock is undervalued for been like that for a long time. And just like way Apple's kind of woke up here lately, the way Roku and them kind of woke up here lately. And this should be in the same target. It should be in the same category. And to me, it's undervalued. So here we are at 120.98. We did have a one, looked like a 121.43. But for right now on the three year, let me pull this chart up. Let's go back a little farther on this. Because I'm just kind of curious about the highs. We're going to go back to, let's go back 20 years. Every quarter. So even on a quarter 20 years ago, we're still at a, At a, at, a, at a all time high. So, yeah, I think this stock's way undervalued. So, let's bring us back to 20 day. 
kind of has me stunned a little bit. We did break a 20-day high. Popped right past that today at 120.88. That's where we're going to call low support, at least the first one. And we're going to pull this up now to maybe uh, one day and see if there's anything else I missed on here. You see, we've got, we've got a little sending triangle breakout here. We had a little resistance here right when the market did kind of break out. So I'm, I'm going to probably call that little resistance level right in there somewhere. And I'm just, just because we hit that high, that's where I'm going to put that support level. One at 119.78. And then we got another one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and jot that down at 120.46. Then we've got a resistance that we got to break. That's going to be that one we here had here right before the market closed. And that's at 121.36. Right now we're at 121.43 and we closed at 120.98 Walmart. So we're setting up for another ascending breakout. This can go higher. We could wake up tomorrow and it's going to be at 121.75, maybe a little higher. If not, we got a little support. And that's going to be at this 120.46 area. And that's right about right in here. So that you can see where we had them little resistance lines. So that's going to be your solid support. Your first one's going to be right, second one's going to be right here at 120.88. And then that first one somewhere in this little jumble mumble right in here between 121 26 and 121 36 somewhere in that area somewhere that should be right around your first support with a resistance to break of 121 75 and that's it those are the three one to give you for tomorrow and today and great call on them today on that disney miss vegas that was really exciting yeah you know what yeah, that was exciting. And, you know, it was very good teamwork, uh, you know, fantastic uh, group and team and very helpful uh, that you're giving us also support and resistance because, you know, at the end of the day, you could be in a trade, but if you don't know your support and resistance, I mean, you don't even know where to get out, you know, where to take profits. And that's a lot of problems that people have is they don't really know what, you know, how should I hold, should I get out? And then with your guidance, uh, it really helps people hold longer and uh you know definitely talking on voice uh, makes a big difference to many traders so yep. come by come check us out and love to meet you and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow have a great night everyone and thanks for watching follow subscribe and like our video this is the aftermarket report with vegas and jim and this is all you gotta do is hit that little bird right there and that brings you straight to our twitter page you can hit that follow button subscribe to us and get some of our future updates so this is the aftermarket report with vegas and jim today's date is november the 13th 2019 and we'll see you all tomorrow and have a great day we love stocks